Right, yes, well, uh, yes, I am supposed to be asking you things, yes, sir. Uh, oh, dear, where, where are my notes? Uh, I seem to have lost my place, sir. Uh, uh, well, uh, I am sure there are many who, at this point, definitely would like to know, uh, how did you become a god? How I became a god. I was a lowly pixie storyteller. What happened was is that I used to just run around and tell stories by conjuring wonderful illusions, and they'd be beautiful objects of ethereal refracted light and ghostly images, shapes of mysticism, and every now and then I'd cast a spell wrong and I'd kind of go crazy and talk to my imaginary friends and yell at what, why they didn't get the story because I was doing the best I could, but that's okay. That was back in, maybe I was 300 years old. It was fun. And then one day, we're at a bar. And you know what that means? It means we're about to be scions of destiny. Because that's what always happens when you have a beer. Now, I had a thimble full of beer. And so, of course, I was chosen to, to be part of the game of the gods, uh, hunting the Bellatros coins and, and doodads and knickknacks and, and pity winkles. It was like they, they described it as like a, a consignment shop that would end the world. It was amazing, right? So... We, we, we're about to go out, and of course I've drunk my thimble, and Sean Leon's thrown back his beer, so of course he's chosen. And then there's a dwarf on fire who tried to drink beer, and it didn't burn. And I'm still trying to figure out how that happened. And then there was a priest with his horns, and I kept digging them, and he kept hitting me with the beer can. And so we got more beer, and so we were even more chosen. So we went out, and we tried to find the items, and uh, we actually did pretty good. Until at one point something went wrong. I think maybe this was around the time we blew up a city... No, no, maybe this was the time that we changed that river and, like, the flood carried us all away. I don't really know what happened. But the point is, is the ba bad guys won. And so I was all ticked off about this, as anyone would be when, you know, you're chosen by the gods and then you screw up. Yep. Uh, so um, they're like, well, these immortal consignment knickknacks are going to sit here for a thousand years before somebody else has to do this. we are choose some more people. So I said, screw that. I made off with one of them. It's great. <laughs> so I, what I did was I founded this huge garden up near Ifili. And it was a wonderful place. And the side was I decided to make it so that everything there looked just like it did when the world wasn't taken over by the bad guys. And it was a beautiful place. Now, again, this was me casting illusions. So I think I kind of went crazy at some point. And that's why everything looked even better than it was. Uh, it was like... You know how kids draw really strange things, and they, they're they really pretty, but they know where to, they can exist on Earth? My garden was full of that stuff. It was fantastic. It was like a theme park. It was fat wonderful. Now, Sham Leon, of course, was mortal, and he was already getting old at that time, which only made him look more cool. I'm going to be honest, man. The wrinkles? Now, pixies don't age that way. But, oh, my God, he gave me the vapors. I was sitting there. Oh, he was so delicious. And then he died. Well... Um, mm, okay, so I was in this garden that was all hoopty doopty and wondy wondy, all right? And I sat there for a thousand years. And, brother, let me tell you something. I went bat insane. <laughs> Nobody can stay in a hoopty doopty illusionary garden for a thousand years without losing their mind. But that's okay, because that's what pixies do. We have something called a Kachuri Ponbono. Now, in our language, it means 1400-something. But what it really means is that you're so old and so strong and so powerful that you're a danger to yourself and everyone around you. And I was. I really was. And then these people come up and like, Hi, we're hunting Bellatro's consignment items. And I was like, I've got one of those. Hey, wait. I'm insane. And tried to kill them. <laughs> so they outsmarted me. One of them found, figured out that I was insane. I'm not sure how they did that. I'm not sure if I yelled it at them. Hey, I was insane. I can't really remember. But they, they basically said, hey, by the way, insane person. I was like, ah, blind blood. It's like, I'm your friend. It's like, cool. It's like, we'll invite you out for cake. It's like, cake? I haven't had cake in a thousand years. Except for this illusionary hoopty doopty cake, which is delicious. You want some? Like, no, no, no. We'll get you real cake. Like, real cake? It's like, yes, if you give us that consignment shop item. It's like, oh, man, you can totally have this. What are you going to do with it? It's like, hawk it for cake. It's like, hawk it for cake. I love it. And they went off and they hawked it for the right world. They, seriously, they traded at the pawn shop of the gods, and everything was wonderful again, and all this beautiful stuff. But of course, it didn't get that way right away, because I found out that they'd stolen that. And so I chased them. <laughs> okay, I forgot 
just how bad the world looked. So I got really silly with my illusions, and I chased these people. I messed with them for years until they finally fixed everything. Now, that was wonderful, except right after everything was fixed, the gods came down and they said, Ritophoron! And I was like, blood, sugar, wild things. Oh, I love spinners and streamers. <laughs> like, stop being crazy. I was like, yes, ma'am. They said, we're going to make you as a god. Really? Thank you. So now I as a god. Hello, friends. It's Fire Drake again, your humble barkeep here at the tavern. There's more where that came from. So if you want to keep up with all the shenanigans of our tavern denizens in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hitting that notification bell would be nice as well. We're also a, still a tiny channel, so be sure to spread the word and share this video as well. Likes are always appreciated, and be sure to tip your wait staff. That's all for now, so until next time, remember to stay safe, drink responsibly, and be kind to everyone.